Hello, my name is Creostix, and welcome back to Virginia, where we are indeed trying to get our ass to the door in order to answer the door. We just woke up, the final day is upon us of, well, the final day of apparently the game, maybe, or the experience, or final day, that's what it said. So, ha! Okay, uh, Mr. Taft, we saw, oh, well, I mean... I did throw some files into the wind, or maybe just paper, maybe they were blank, maybe I, I was bluffing, you see, that's perfectly a possibility. So, but still, right? Ah, hi, so you're here too. And I went to bed, and I woke up from the bed, actually, not, not went to bed, okay, so... How's life been for you here? I... Oh, right. And then we go again to... Ah. Well, I mean, here the jumping comes to good use because, well, there's not much to do in a cell, apparently, yet, it seems like. So, yep, here we go again. Um, that's that's a good way to use them. That's, that's, that, that's fine. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Um... Uh, Okay, and once again, this thing, this, that looks like a piece of plastic of something, but I have zero idea what it is. I can't, like, okay, uh, do we now, can I, nope, can I, nope, but I am still the same person again. That's always good to check when you get a mirror, just, just to be sure, because this game has done some weird stuff every once in a while. Okay, uh... So, uh, so, uh, officer, ca can you, uh, open the door and let me out? You see, I want to go, uh, do some soup and, 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 and fry some eggs and go uh, crack the case of a Lucas boy, you see, it is important. Oh. Uh, okay. Why did that work? What? Oh, and now I'm here again, although... You were one of the people who had me arrested, I believe, so... Uh, sure. What? Why? How? Uh, hi! So, let's talk about what is right in the... Ah, so I... Is that the thing that I was supposed to bring him, which I supposedly threw into the wind, but maybe I didn't, but maybe I did, but maybe it was just blank papers, and maybe I did... Uh, okay, so am I taking my stuff away? No, I'm putting my stuff into a desk. Like, onto a desk. Like, I thought I would be like, lose the job or quit, but apparently no, because I'm putting stuff from the box to the desk. Oh, hi, Mr. Mr. Indian dude, maybe? Oh, and... Uh, again, I'm at the front do door, and yeah, I think the game has been putting the flowers which I have picked up into the house, as actually the same with the two feathers which I've picked up, so, okay, that's, so by picking up something like, and that's actually the stuffed buffalo, that I think that is. That Maria gave me. Yeah, I'll be there in a second. Just give me just one hot moment. Like that flower there is one I picked up too. I, like this game is like maybe weird collectibles where you customize, quote unquote, your home by picking stuff up in the world. Well, that's interesting. That's, that's not a bad thing to do. Ah. Poker stuff. And, and actually more flowers. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, sure. I'll just give me a second. I was, you see, I was taking a big, well, you know. Hi. Is this the police again? Ah, hello, co-worker and two people I don't recognize yet, but thank you for the cactus. Ah, some chips and some beer and cards with no numbers on them. Okay, and, and we're praying then... I may be poker, I'm not sure what this game is, but it looks like it could be poker of some sort, but it's not Hold'em, 
because it doesn't have the face-up cards in the middle, so that's... Oh! Take chips! I didn't realize I, I could... Uh, uh, uh. Ah, some good polygon there. Mmm. Good, good, good. Okay, uh, so... Oh, okay. Uh, file. Internal investigations. Again, that, I think that was the Indian. It is the Indian dude. And you're unhappy. And now the Indian dude has to leave because I investigated him. And I become a senior special agent and Tarver then... Hi. A black dude with which I go have a drink. Like, drinking is big. And then we have a file with his... Yes, I, I, I get it. His face on it. I take pills because life is bad. And then I meet someone at the water cooler with a ponytail and a beard. And again, I get a file with... Again, he's gonna be... Yep, I didn't even... Ah, Conan! Hello! And I get a file with Conan, yes. I, Conan O'Brien needs to be investigated. I get... Impact of telecommunication, whatever. Hi, hello, I point a finger at you, and I get a file with his thing on it again. Yeah. And I become the supervisor and Tarver. And... Azak Tarver. I, and then I get another file, and then... I, Deputy Assistant Director. Okay, so... I so I investigate my co-workers in a in a fast succession and then I get promoted but I ruin their careers or even get them arrested or something in the process. That's good, okay. But but the game said it was the final day. I mean that looked like it took at least weeks or years or something. And I became the assistant director. I took Ch took Skinner's job, or Cord McCarran or whatever he, his name was. Ah, and this is the induction ceremony again, so I get to... Right, I induct a new FBI agent into the fold. Hello, yes, shake hands, good, and flashing lights. And I give him the same th job thing I had before, like investigate someone and cause him problems and cause his life to go fucked. Yes. I give you orders, now you go. Yes, good. Right, so this is like the tra tragedy of the and burn smoke there. Like, okay. Right, so that's the cycle. I get it. Like, yeah, okay, sure. So the moral of the so story is don't work for the FBI. It, it's, it sucks. Is that the O line? And the unsolved case of Lucas. Can I read it? Subject of Agent Hal Halperin and the app. I can't read it. Nope. And I go back to Halperin's office. Is this still like, like as I am the assistant director years in the future, even though it was supposed to be the final day, like years before? And I have the locket still. Okay. And. But now we flash back to the like jail in which I have apparently given the locket to Maria but if I gave it to her here how can I have it years in the future I, I I don't know ah mirror yes I am me here again uh, the red envelope it has the part of a picture of a bird a very colorful bird but still what does that I don't get it. Uh, okay, so you eat parts of pictures of a bird, or at least one, and then you see a brick fall down. Okay, uh, can I take the envelope? No. Quick check to... Well, then, let's touch the brick. Uh, touch the brick! I, I actually, I didn't, like... Oh! That happened then. To, uh, uh, right. When I said touch the brick, I didn't think he would, let, like, actually just touch the brick and back off. That's okay. Well, why? And why is this... Elevator? Here. 
was the part of a picture of a bird like a drugs you just took? Is that the... Because this doesn't look normal, you see. Or at least doesn't like qualify to my understanding of normal, if we're counting. Uh, right, and the elevator goes to... Any guesses? Ah. The cave place, but with some psychedelic colors, and again, the sky is fucked up, going fast everywhere. So, I'm assuming it was drugs, or you've been crazy all the time, but why would... Well, I mean, that's the only solution I have. It's like, it's drugs, and, you're cr and you went wildly mad with, from the drugs, and now you're here. And you follow the purple haze into... A cave. Because that's what you do. Yep, this is the place. Yeah, again, it looks ju about the same. Although I can't remember everything, but... Well, not everything is the same, because yes, I, I know there's, that's, that way is open. Instead of just having a wall of nothing and a bird cage. Uh, what's at the end of this? Or do we jump somewhere again? Because that's what happens a lot. Um, right. And again, still cave. Nothing odd except for the purple haze light, which we need to apparently follow. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah. Again, not... Nothing interesting yet, just rocks, more rocks, some more cave, more rocks, and more of purple. I mean, this actually looks like a plate where you could just jump a bit forward. I mean, this looks a bit like nothing is happening, except for the light, but yeah. Stalactites on the ceiling there. And a statue face. I think that's the statue face... That had the chains and shackles on it. I think. I'm not 100% on that, but I think. Yep, don't see anything odd. Yep, that. that's what I think. Not not sure, but that's my guess. Okay. Uh, go forward. Is that a dead end, or...? Ah, no, no, there is, like, a small hole, which I can go into. Great. Good, excellent. Uh, and then we find the solution to everything and we understand every... Oh, that red door has been haunting us a couple of times. But, that, well, I don't... I suppose I have just no choice but to just go in. Yes, okay, open the door, please, because I... Oh, so it's blackness then. Or darkness, or can I walk in it? There's... Oh, okay, uh, sure. So, now we're in a church, monastery, cathedral. I mean, it looks and sounds religious, but... Uh... Right. Is... Do you have leprosy, or why are you wearing a mask? Or masks? Uh... Okay. And there's the red beard dude, and boss, and hat taft, and rude politician, and... Are we about to become a Freemason? Is that what you're... I mean, that's... Is that what you're trying to... To tell me here. Does Freemason it Freemasonry does indeed involve buffalo sacrifice then. Yeah, just yep, don't do that, no. Okay, so we prevent that. Which means we do what we build a model ship. Because that li like you do, you see. That's what happens. We put the thing into the model ship. Oh. 
So that was his model of shit. But ho hold on. I I took note of like when we put the stick onto that, that like we had nail polish and our sleeve was the green sleeve of well probably this jacket with a button but the sleeve was absolutely not that so it implied that we were sitting there but we weren't be and because it was actually uh, what uh, uh and and then we break the ship because that's what you're supposed to do to do, do just pro poke around in people's stuff and that he doesn't like and oh Hartley Taft. Yes, okay. Well then. Uh, well, I'm... And then you started crying. And... Right. And now we are again sitting in a place where I think maybe passport photos are taken. But again, yeah. Look at like it... She, she has like her... Like this is her hand, her nail polish and her coat with that button and colors and green and that. So that's what I meant when I said that that I saw like that hand put the thing onto the ship, not the hand of the Admiral because the sleeve is extremely di different and I don't think the Admiral or, well, anyway, him. And I, I, I don't think he was like wearing nail polish. I have a, like, so that was weird. Okay, let's take a photo, right? Yes, a flash coming up. Yep, and now we are outside the 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 uh, passport photo place. Can we play the machine though? But ah, and that's where the buffaloes came from. Okay, sure. So she she didn't actually buy it. She won it in a machine. Okay, sure. That's well makes a little bit more sense. Like buying a random buffalo would have been a bit more weird. But that's okay. Sure. Uh, do I do... There's someone in there, though. On their knees. Uh, that's the rude politician. Okay. Yeah, I get it. And that... But if it implied that we were there, but I checked... That was us, this this woman sitting in that chair in that passport booth, not the politician. So what's going? Ah, uh, my head hurts. What what is this? What are we trying to imply? Like like we became Freemasons and someone took passport photos. How does that does it help us find? And we are drinking then, or it's empty. Maybe you're drinking so much that you're hallucinating. Like uh, oh. Wait, so we jumped from that body away, because that's the stuff. But again, that's not the clothes that we were wearing, because that's... I, I, what? I, uh, uh. I don't want a babe, no. I just want to... In uh, no, oh, no. I don't want to take the baby. No, 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 no. Take it back. Uh, right... So apparently that's maybe father and son, but estranged somehow. That I believe that's the secretary of well me because apparently now I'm the wait. Cord McCarran is the name there. So this is before I became the assistant director. So I'm apparently Cord McCarran, but I'm again wearing my clothes. What? Why? What? Uh, does help? Does it help if I eat a potato? I I said a p potato. Potato. No, a potato. Hmm. Uh, right. So. Uh. Well. Just to make sure that I that that is indeed Cord McCarran on the, on that not and Tarver or whatever my name was again. Um. Yeah. This is pretty weird. I just tried. So he's petting the head. She's petting his head, but now, wait. I didn't mean. I just. 
Um, what? So the Skinner person needs to be petted on the head every once in a while to... To, to why? And, and now I jump to doing it to... Uh... Right, the r Redbeard father person and a lover and a wife? Or is that the wife? They maybe that's maybe a lover, but then the, someone took pictures, and that's why they had problems. And that's maybe someone standing on the. Uh, it is someone standing on the outside of the door. But who? And here we. Uh, okay, and now my clothes are changed though, into white robes. Uh, right. So I. Do I? Take the knife, yes, okay, the or the ceremonial dagger, let's say. Well, I mean, I I, I said take the... Uh, oh, okay, so you take mask off, uh, and the lipstick moment, yes, right, right, yeah, okay. Put lipstick, we've done that, yes, I, I know. Uh... Oh, right. Oh, so that's, I think that's supposed to be my character's face. So it's like a, she's wearing masks, you see, or a mask, because she's not who, okay. She's not who, who, who she thinks or feels or shows to be, because, but then again, internal affairs and a lot of investigations of other people and being dishonest, like, technically, uh, no. Okay. Okay. So, so from that picture, the wild guess that's the da that. I think that's the same hat I found in Halperin's office, and I sort of polished it a bit. And that sound of the machine, that beeping, is the stuff I heard at the very, very, very beginning in my sort of indoctrination to FBI in the in the and that's the door okay the plot thickens yes maybe we'll finally understand something oh so hello dad I became a fed and he's proud okay good and he's sick oh that a part of that key is what I've been looking at all this time. Okay, right. And I should go through the red door. Okay. Right, sure, yeah. That, that, uh, yeah, okay. And please let, okay. At this time, it didn't teleport me immediately to some place. I could actually just go into a room and look at a box. That looks a bit like the box at the at, at the first scene where someone closed and locked it. Maybe. Not sure though. Ah, well, it broke then. Then that's where I have the half. Okay. Ah. At least okay. What's in the box? It didn't show me what was in the box. Do I... Can I go away? Oh, no. But didn't expect to, but I guess I will. Right, and that looks a lot like the burning thing I saw, like, in the fever dream or something, like, on the road, which I walked through and from which I found, I believe, the bird was inside, but it was... It vanished on me. This time... Ah, the box. Can you, like, show me what's in it? Uh, no, don't burn it. That, that might be the one thing to explain a couple of things. What's in the box? Don't, don't put it in... The, uh, don't take it back. Take it back. No, I don't want to put it in the fire. I want to take it into my face in order to look at it. No. Uh, really, I have to press this. Uh, fine, there you go. Don't show me anything that would actually solve anything about this ex ashes. Yes. Okay. Good. That, well, good. I mean, makes sense. 
and the bird is there on the part of the symbolic mask or whatever. And okay, so uh, oh, uh, right, that sure. Why? What? And now I am here again with the 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 sort of place from which I found the blocket, I believe. Yes, although there's someone there, though. Uh, right. Hi, can you... Uh, oh, ah, that's bright. Ah, UFOs, because... Why not, right? Why not put UFOs on the... Uh, like, th this wasn't confusing enough already. We need to add a UFO into... What the fu... Is that Lucas or someone else or and what's who's the woman and where okay so they're going into the stars to have uh, an adventure and and I'm going to ah and now there's not rocks and yeah someone's someone went in there sure great uh, just, just nothing to, oh, oh. Uh, okay uh, right, a diner, I think, again. Uh, 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 my my bill came, and I can I take some coffee to clear my head? Nope, can't touch the pill. M bill, can't touch the badge, can't... Uh, right, and now you find... Right, this thing, the part of a key. I, I see it now, yeah, but I, I couldn't make any sense of what that was. Oh, hi, Maria. Can can you sit down and explain what this game is? For? Uh, no, come sit. Explain to me everything. Tell, tell me what this, like, what is, what, why, and what did you burn? Why would you not show me what you burned? Like, you found something in your father's or something's belongings that you wanted to burn. O okay, fine. That, that happened. Right, and we're going, and you have the sunglasses, which I took away again once, but that didn't do anything, so... Uh, and we are jumping a lot forward. Or, well, some somewhere. There's someone on the road. And carrying a guitar case, and... Wait, that's Lucas. That... that Stop the car. That was Lucas. I... That face was Lucas. Stop the... Car... Aha! So... We won? Maybe? Or, or, or we went extremely, extremely crazy and, and, and got abducted by UFOs and, and everything was quite clear and what is... The creators wish to acknowledge their gratitude to Brendan Chung and his game 30 Flights of Loving, whose inspiration eliminates this work. Okay, well, that was quite the ride. I, I, I think I can kind of see why people, like, okay, I, it, it, it's almost hard to say if this is, it's such an odd and different experience that it's hard to say whether it's good or not. Like, I obviously didn't understand, like, most of what I saw, I'll try to like piece together together a bit in a, in a moment. But like, if nothing else, this was interesting. It had an extremely unique way of telling its story, and and I mean, it almost makes me feel like like artistic confusion. Like, do you know the feeling if you're like standing in a gallery and you look at a painting, which you clearly you understand that the painting is art. And you're like looking at that art and you look and look and look and you don't understand it. You don't really gather much of like an idea of what it's trying to like convey to you. But you absolutely acknowledge the fact that it is absolutely art and you feel like you are watching art. Okay, so that's pretty much where I am at here. Like, I get a couple of things like the main story, it showed like, yeah, FBI things apparently suck because you need to 
like betray every every coworker you ever work with in in order to get get anywhere. So that's ouch. Uh, and because you needed to investigate everyone and get them to like be destroyed or arrested or whatever. Um, but okay, let's let's try to like take stock of what we actually like understood and what we accomplished here. So we if if we assume the end was real. We know that Lucas apparently ran away with a guitar then, maybe? Like, that's what I gather from that, so he is not dead, I hope. Uh, the the shoebox or something had something that his father, her father had, which she wanted to destroy, something bad, something that haunted her, because she saw the door over and over and over and over again. She held half of the key, even though she burned the, the actual stuff which was in there. So, something like reminding her of, of, of something bad, or something regretful, or something like that. Uh, beyond that, uh, I don't think, like, if the, like, Ortega Halpernia story went really anywhere, like, I, I think she just maybe stayed in jail? Or was the end, like, where she was, like, we drove somewhere, and then I became later on the assistant director or something, I'm not sure. The the buffalo, which either it's just a really weird random thing, or maybe she actually became a Freemason or something. At some point she had to kill a buffalo and that, that, that caused a trauma, so I don't know. Like, ah... Uh, like, maybe she had to Freemason kill a buffalo, a sacrifice one, and that's a bad thing and that, that haunts her, maybe. I, ah... Uh, and the... The picture of a bird, you see, and, and the bird, uh, the red bird which kept going away, or or disappearing or something, and the small picture of a bird which she ate, like, considering what happened right after she ate the picture of the bird, or the part of it, which, maybe it was like drugs. I mean, she has, she was drinking a few times, but not like excessively, but I mean, substance abuse something maybe was up with her. Like, maybe she used a drug, or drugs, and she hallucinated a lot. And the bird was, like, in, like, as a picture in the drug, because maybe the bird is, like, a metaphor for drugs in this? Like, like, I think the red bird, like, was always, like, coming away from her grasp, or, or disappeared on her, or go, or, or went away from her hand to another, so she, she never got, like, a handle, like, maybe... Maybe, like, the bird represents her drug problem, and she couldn't get a, get a handle on that drug problem because the bird was always going away some, somewhere or disappeared on her. Maybe. Like, that's, that's just me speculating a whole bunch, but that's, like, that's, like, what I took from this. I, I, if you thought of something different, please, I, I mean, absolutely, please do leave a comment, like, Tell me what you thought this, this was about. I haven't, like, checked any, like, wikis or, or, or whatever. And I don't think I should. I think it's probably better and more powerful if I leave this with whatever was my interpretation of what happened and, and, and what was the story. Right? Maybe? So, I'll go with that. But yeah, I can see, like, maybe the jumping could be really jarring to some people. Like, that's why it's probably divisive also. But... This was absolutely, like, brain-stimulating and interesting, and it was very, very, like, different, unique. I'm very glad I went through this. Like, this really, like, I feel like I've had an experience, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. That's my take on this. That's for sure. So, yeah. And there's, like, the title screen coming up, so I think the credits are about to roll to their end. So, I I truly hope you've enjoyed this Let's Play series. Uh, I will be doing more like this later on. I don't know of what yet, but we'll see. And if you like this, please do leave a like. And if you have any ideas on what this was about, please like do comment. And if you want to, you can subscribe. There's going to be more stuff like this, more more like Let's Plays or such. So, yeah. With that, I believe, unless there's... I, I want to see if there's like an end credits, like 
after credits scene before I like cut this just to be sure. Uh, that's the I think that's the opening screen. Yep, and variable state. Yep, that looks just about right. And Virginia and A to take a trip. That this is the main title screen. Like it just goes to like this menu, which was is the beginning menu. So, uh, hmm, letter from the creators. Okay. Virginia was in continuous production for over two and a half years. Jonathan Burroughs and Terry Kenny began exploring ideas in January of 2014 with what would become Virginia, first taken from in March. Jonathan has been responsible for scripting the game scenarios. Terry has led the animation and art direction, including producing most of the game's animations. Composer Lyndon Holland joined the game in April 2014 and has been responsible for the creating of the score and sound effects. Jonathan, Terry and Lyndon co-wrote the story. Wayne Peters contributed early 3D art. Artist Matt Wilde and programmer Kieran Keegan joined in May 2015. Matt has overseen the game's lightning, lighting and visual effects. Kieran has designed and implemented almost all of the game's systems. A wealth of animation was created by Abby Rubak of Ping Kong Studios, Michael Person, Stephen J. Brown, Edwin D. Law, and Scott Hughes. Stephen Brown created the majority of scenes, props, and characters. Carlos Aguilar was the game's tireless producer. The music was performed by the City of Prague Philharmonic Orchestra and recorded at the Smeki Music Studio, supervised by the esteemed James Fitzpatrick. The game would not be po well have been possible without great luck, the fortune of circumstance, or the support of sacrifice, not least financial, of loved ones. It's been a strange and confounding experience making Virginia. We hope it's resulted in a strange and confounding game. Yes. A strange and confounding game is a very accurate description of what I would use as well of this. So that's absolutely has has become true. The, that Your hope has come true. Absolutely. Well, okay. So with that, I believe I'm done with this. So I had absolutely fun with this. So just so we're clear. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time.